Hello all, today I am going to talk on muscular system and the disease related to the muscular system. So, muscle. Muscular, dis- muscular system is an organ system that mainly involves in the function of movement. So, mus- uh, movement. There are over 700 muscles uh, that are present in the body which are connected to the bones uh, of the skeletal system. And this muscular system uh, make half of uh, make half of the weights of human body, and every muscle in the muscular system is made up of blood vessels. Uh, uh, means uh, every muscles is found uh, in different organ of the body that is made of uh, blood vessels, then skeletal muscles, tissue, nerves, and tendons. Muscular system. Uh, is divided into three three parts and this muscle tissue are found in the heart then uh, blood vessels and digestive system so muscular system is divided into three parts that is first one is cardiac muscle then visceral muscle and then uh, skeletal muscle so let's ta- uh, talk about cardiac muscle cardiac muscles are present mostly in the heart and these muscles are responsible for the blood circulation by pumping action, by pumping action of the heart. Uh, so circulation is very crucial uh, part of this human body. So muscle play very important role in blood circulation. And cardiac muscles are also involuntary type of muscle because uh, contraction of this muscle cannot be controlled uh, con- consciously. These cardiac muscle cells are uninucleated and then uh, striated and branched. In cardiac muscle, there is a protein fiber arrangement. So, this protein fiber arrangement gives the muscle dark and uh, light strips. Uh, so, we can see under the microscope the dark and light strip of this cardiac muscle. So, next uh, move on to the next muscle that is visceral. So visceral muscles, these muscles are found in organs such as um, um, intestine, then blood vessels and then in stomach. So these muscles are uh, mo- uh, mainly responsible for contraction. So they form contraction of the uh, contraction within the organ that helps the organ to transportation of the materials or anything within the organs. And activity of this muscle cannot be controlled consciously. Therefore, they are also involuntary uh, type of muscles. And visceral muscle cells are um, uninuclear, uh, uninucleated and uh, spindle shaped cells. It is also known as uh, smooth muscle since it has uniform and smooth uh, appearance when observed under a microscope. This is all about the visceral muscle. Then comes the muscle that is skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle cells, uh, these muscle cells are voluntary type of muscle cells as we can control the action of these muscles by uh, constant thought of uh, something. So these muscles are voluntary type of muscles and uh, these muscles mainly help in physical action such as writing, walking and then uh, lifting etc. Skeletal muscles is responsible for the move, responsible for moving the body parts uh, that are connected to the bone, and then uh, these skeletal muscles are multinucleated, cylindrical, and uh, striated in nature. This is all about the muscles. Now we will talk about the illness related to the muscle. This is include polymyositis and then uh, dermatomyositis and uh, muscular. Uh, muscular dystrophy then um, myasthenia gravis and then uh, then comes uh, cardiomyopathy these are all uh, diseases which are related to the muscular system this muscular system diseases uh, affect the muscles and therefore uh, it uh, sometimes it also affect the nerves uh, into their muscles. So these diseases 
may eventually result in muscle wasting or uh, loss of muscular mass this involves the loss of uh, strength and function uh, in one or more muscle uh, so sometimes paralysis may occur because of the disease related to the muscular system it's all about muscular system thank you